What's up YouTube, my name is Oral Tasher and I'm a software engineer from Orlando, Florida. I work remote as a full-time front-end engineer and you might already be familiar with my workspace on Instagram, which brings us to today's topic. Due to a high demand from all you guys on Instagram, I figured I should just give it a shot and do a full video walkthrough of my home setup. I just want to give you a heads up, the items are in no particular order, but I will leave a link below on the comment section for everything on there. So let's jump right in. Starting with the centerpiece of the setup is the 49WL95-C from LG, which is a mouthful to say. This monstrous 49 inch display from LG has a 32 by 9 aspect ratio and a dual QHD resolution, which essentially means two 27 inch QHD monitors side by side. Now, as far as the resolution goes, the 1440 pixel height needed some time getting used to, but the productivity on this monitor has been amazing. The display is mounted on the M8.1 monitor arm from Human Scale, which honestly is the only monitor arm that I found that could support the weight from this monitor. I think it's very well built and moving around and adjusting the monitor is super simple. Hopping into the sound system, I'm using the third generation KRK Rocket 5s. Now I had these studio speakers for a while now, for about five to six years I think, and honestly they sound really good. They're very accurate monitors, and they have great audio definition with regards to clarity and fidelity. Now I'm no audiophile, but I do enjoy good quality sound while I'm working. One annoying aspect about these speakers though is their auto sleep feature, where if you don't play any type of sound for a certain amount of time, they'll go to sleep, and it's a pain to bring them back up. The KRK speakers are connected to the Audio Engine N22 desktop amplifier, which is hooked up to the mass drop DAC that connects to my USB hub. That way, I can continue to utilize a single Thunderbolt cable instead of requiring an audio jack as well. They are mounted on a pair of clamp-on desk mounts from Gator Frameworks. These are especially useful since I have a sit-stand desk and the speakers keep moving up and down. It allows me to run cables way more smoother and makes the table look a lot cleaner than having independent stands. Moving into the I.O., I'm using the C920 webcam from Logitech, which supports 1080p streaming which is more than enough for my online video conferences. And keeping the Logitech trend going, I'm also using the MX Master 3 mouse from them as well. Now I've been a long time Apple Magic mouse user, but ever since I made the switch to the MX Master 2S, I've stuck with the Logitech mice. And speaking of the mouse, I'm using the Grove Made mouse pad with a pencil holder, which is one of the most common questions I get. It has a pretty decent size, so I can move around the mouse pretty freely, and the pen holder comes as a plus as well. Another highly asked question I get is where I got my keyboard from. Now this is a custom built keyboard that I put together using most of the components I got from KBD fans. Now some of you might already know that mechanical keyboards as a topic is a whole rabbit hole themselves, so I don't want to get too deep into that. But for the ones who are curious about it, I left a couple links below so you can get started on your own. Sitting next to my audio stack is this 4TB external hard disk drive from G Technology. I mainly use it for storing most of my photography work that I need to access immediately. Otherwise, everything else is stored in a network attached storage that's on my home network. On the left corner of my desk, I have the leather mat from Line of Trade and a desk calendar as well. It's especially useful for keeping track of my daily tasks and meetings that I've going on throughout the week. Along with the calendar, I also have a James brand knife for unboxing videos and also a couple gray highlighters from Copit. A few other accessories I have on the desk are the walnut planters from GrowMade with some succulents to add some greenery to the setup and the walnut base station from Nomad for charging my iPhone and my AirPod Pros wirelessly. Powering the whole setup is an upgraded 16-inch MacBook Pro that uses a 2.4 GHz 8-core Intel i9 processor and 64 GB of RAM. I also upgraded it to a 1TB storage which was an overkill and I'm using internal graphics on it. Now the reason why I'm using the internal graphics is because I'm utilizing an eGPU for all kinds of video rendering and other graphical processing which brings us to our next topic. Stowed under the desk on an uplift CPU storage is my Razer Corex Chroma eGPU unit using a Radeon RX Vega 64 graphics card. Now this card is pretty powerful for any kind of graphical processing that I need on this laptop, but it's getting a little outdated for there's an upgrade coming up for it for sure. Earlier, I mentioned that my whole sound system was connected to my USB hub, which is the Razer Corex Chroma. It not only acts as an enclosure to my graphics card, but I also utilize the USB hubs behind it as my central hub. My mechanical keyboard, my webcam, my external hard disk drive, the DAC, they're all connected to this USB hub. 
And this pretty much sums up that's everything on my workspace. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Now easily the top question that I get from my audience is where I got my desk from. I'm using a Reclaim Woodtop motorized sit-stand desk from the Stand Desk brand. Now I absolutely love the pattern and the color and the texture on this desk. Now I'll leave a link below to the exact configuration that I have, but before you go ahead and invest in one, I wanted to let you know of one thing. Due to the way these desktops are built, no one desktop is similar to the other in the way the pattern and the colors go. And as a matter of fact, the more recent versions of this desktop appears to be a lot darker than the version that I had. So I just want you to know before you got ahead and invested in one. And that's it. I hope this video answers a few questions that you had and inspires you with your own workspace. Let me know in the comments if you had any other specific questions or if I skipped anything. And make sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it. I'm planning on doing some more upgrades to the setup, so make sure to subscribe as well so you can keep up to date with all the changes that are coming up to the setup.